hello everybody and welcome back to my channel with another video my name is precious Kalina for anybody that's new here watching and also the content that I create for you guys is social work lifestyle hauls and inspiration videos so before we get started today I just wanted to say thank you to everybody to helping me get to 100 subscribers right now I'm at 115 we're on our road to 120 so if you haven't already pressed that subscribe button yet and you like my content you've been watching my playlist and my videos why don't you just hit that subscribe button right now also um when watching this video please like this video and comment because it really helps with the algorithm on my channel but anyways let's get right into the video so today um i will be going to the allergist if you guys haven't watched that video already there's a video i uploaded like a couple weeks ago um with me going to the allergist getting my cluster shot therapy cluster shot um, it's like immunotherapy shots and it's, I have the cluster one so I'm getting two shots in one day um, so I have to do that I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat because I haven't ate anything so I'll probably just wait until lunch to have something and then I'm trying to think and then I have class today at one o'clock so I'll just take along you guys along with me today I really won't show you guys the whole me being in school today I think I'm just gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do today so if you like what you're watching and you want to watch more, continue to watch the rest of this video. Okay, you guys. So, look at my hat, y'all. I'm representing. Don't talk about my hair, y'all. And don't talk about these papers, okay? <laughs> Anywho, like, I'm representing IUN, my school. So, I'm about to go to the allergies. But before I go to the allergies, I'm going to go to Starbucks. But these are two things I have to carry with me whenever I go to my um, allergies appointment to get my new um, cluster shot, cluster amino therapy shot every week um my epi pen because if i have an allergic reaction um i need to inject that in my thigh and then i have to go to the hospital to make sure um they don't have to give me any medicine or anything and then i have asthma my asthma flares up like every now and then it's the albuterol um inhaler so that's what um i have that for so i'm about to go to Starbucks and get something to drink and then um, I'm gonna go to the allergies so I will see you guys in a little bit so I'm at the Starbucks line if you know you know you guys it's pretty long so yeah pretty long but um, it's okay everything is no problem this is what I want I'm gonna have to wait for it um, I want to try this TikTok drink that my best friend sent me um, it's a TikTok drink I guess like with it's like iced coffee and some other stuff so I'm gonna try it and I'm gonna let you guys know um, how it tastes. I'm sure it'll be pretty good. But patiently waiting. So once I get my drink, I will come back on here and talk to you guys. I don't wanna bore you guys and just blab the whole time. Okay, you guys, so I just got my drink and I'm about to try it. Let's see how it tastes. It's not bad, but I realize I'm not a huge cinnamon dulce fan. Um, I think it maybe just needs to kind of like, I need to just kind of get used to it, but it's really not bad. Um, it's really, it's, let me, hold on, let me try again. It's not terrible. Um, if I was to do it, I probably would remove the cinnamon dulce and add, it's like some type of like nut syrup. I think I would do that. That's the only difference I would do. Um, it's ground iced coffee. It's like iced coffee, um, cinnamon powder, um, no classic, four sugar-free vanilla, four sugar-free cinnamon dulce syrups, and then with heavy cream. But yeah, it's really not that bad, but I don't really care for the cinnamon dulce. So I'll either have to remove that next time or substitute it for something else, but. Hmm. It's not terrible and of course if y'all don't know by now honey these egg bites is the bomb you see this the egg bombs the egg bombs i'm sorry you guys i'm like literally sitting they're probably like looking at me i'm like literally like i'm not on the street but it's like a parking way and there's really not a lot of areas to park at so i just put my hazards on but anywho okay i think they get the memo yeah probably should move someone's gonna cuss me out but these egg bites are the bomb you guys i'm gonna eat this and drive and i will get back to you in a minute hey you guys so i'm here at the allergist and 
I'm waiting to be seen. So I will see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I just left the allergist. Um, I got informed today that I was in my I'm in my maintenance stage, which pretty much means that I'm slowly but surely kind of getting out of the stage of um I don't know if this is accurate, this is just an assumption um, of being like allergic to the allergens that I'm allergic to or being so sensitive to them. So maintenance, I guess just housekeeping of my body, I don't know. But I only had to get one dose today. When I first, first, first started, it was three doses um, and I had three different injections. So three doses um, in the same day. So I'd have to go back, get the three injections, wait 30 minutes, go back again, get another set of injections, three set of injections for 30 minutes, and then go back again to the back for, so it's three times for three injections. But now I'm only doing the one dose, um, three injections, still one dose for one time. And then now I get to come back in two weeks. So that's kind of nice because I got so tired of having to wait for 30 minutes, go back and forth. So I'm gonna leave. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet because I need to go home and do homework. I'm not really hungry, so I'm trying to think. I need to figure out what I'm gonna have for dinner because I need to make something. So I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. We're back. Okay, you guys, so I'm back home. Just came back from the allergist. I need to wipe off a little bit of blood, but yeah, they just did it Um, one here, one here, and then the third one right there. So yeah, but you guys, I'm kind of like in a crisis dilemma because I want to get back eating right, but I don't know which like meal plan I want to like kind of get started with. Um, Herbalife was an was a huge transformation for me. Um, Herbalife really, really did me justice. Um, you know, you have to have your shakes two times a day, one lean meal, two high protein snacks. That helped me a lot to lose a lot of the weight that I did have. However, I gained the, all that weight back and then some. So I feel like Herbalife, I feel like is, in my opinion, is a good starter. But some people do it forever. Some people do it for a lifetime. Some people make it out of the business and it's their career. But I just don't want to have shakes all the time. And I know everybody says like, well, we have other things besides shakes, which is true. However, like I just don't, I don't know. I just... I just don't, I don't know, I just don't want to do the shakes um, 24-7. So that's why I'm kind of like hesitant on the Herbalife. But I know for sure if I get on that plan, I'll lose weight with no problem. Um, The other one I was thinking about is keto. I did keto before. I did it for three days. Um, I only did it for three days because I was on this keto Facebook group. And this girl was like, oh, I've been doing keto for six weeks. And... Um, my kidneys hurt and blah, 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 blah. And that scared the crap out of me. And I was like, oh my God. So I've heard like mixed reviews about keto. I've heard people say keto did them justice. They're doing really good. They've lost a lot of weight. Um, they've been able to maintain it. They've been doing dirty keto, all this other stuff. After you lose so much weight, you just kind of are on dirty keto and not so much of a strict, strict keto. Um, and then I've heard other reviews where people are like, it's not good for you, blah, 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 blah. But pretty much you're eating a high high fattening meal and your body goes into ketosis and once it goes into ketosis pretty much your body naturally um burns off all that fat so when i did do it it was good um i was just scared that like it was gonna affect my cholesterol levels and all that stuff so i don't know <clears throat> even though of course we have <clears throat> stats proving that it's helped a lot of people also i also feel like with keto bentley I also feel like with keto, um, some doctors are like, it's a great, it's a great like weight loss um, plan. You should look into it. And then other doctors are like, no, it's not healthy for you. Long term, it can really affect your organs. So it's like, I don't know. It's just like, who do you believe? Because we trust in our physicians, right? Well, I haven't talked to my doctor about it, but we trust in our physicians, all of these doctors, regardless of what doctor you are. And one doctor says one thing and then another doctor says something else. So it's like, well, which one do I believe? Um... I thought about intermittent fasting, which is like when you only eat for an eight-hour window. And then after that, you stop eating for the rest of the 16 hours. Um, but the whole thing is like I don't want to keep having to cook every day. And I know meal prep is definitely the go-to and the clutch. But I don't want to have the same thing more than like two, two times out, out of the day. I mean, sorry, two times out of the week. So if I'm having chicken, I can probably only have chicken for about two to three days. Oh, excuse me. And that's it. I can't have it anymore. I need something new. So it's just like trying to figure out 
what weight loss journey works best for me. Um, anybody that's on a weight loss journey or you're thinking about a weight loss journey or you, you're kind of, kind of hesitant like me, what's worked best for you? Um, I did not weigh myself when I was on keto, but the three days that I was on it, when I finally stopped, I noticed I lost three pounds. Um, I just, the thing I don't like about keto is like once you're in ketosis, like you have to make sure you're not doing carbs. And if you don't do carbs, um, <clears throat> excuse me, then once you eat carbs again, your body kicks you out of ketosis and you have to start all over again with keto. Um, and I just feel like, you know, for our body, it's necessary for us to have some form of carbs because we can get fatigued. We can get lightheaded. Um, although I'm not an nursing major anymore, what I do remember in anatomy is learning about um, carbohydrates and how carbohydrates break down into glycogen which is sugar and that is one of our energy sources so that just kind of concerns me that if I'm not eating any sort of carbs it's going to make me fatigued maybe pass out maybe be in the hospital I don't know maybe I'm thinking too far-fetched into it um but that's where I'm at right now that's what I'm thinking about so be definitely on the lookout you guys I'm going to be uploading soon my weight loss journey I don't know when I'm gonna start but just be on the lookout for that um, I'm definitely going to for sure have um, a Sheen, I think it's called Sheen, Sheen Shine, Sheen, I think it's Sheen, a Sheen clothing haul. Um, so be on the lookout for that. So let me, let me, you guys, let me know in the comment section down below what other type of videos you guys want to see that's along my niches. Put it in the comment section down below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. If you liked all these videos that I've been uploading, you've been binge watching on my playlist and on my videos, hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to comment and um, turn on the notification bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. See you guys on the next one. Bye.